in today's tutorial we'll be teaching you guys step-by-step -step way to convert your generator carburetor to a trial fuel carburetor in the past few weeks a lot of persons and technicians have adopted this system instead of using just petrol for their generators some people now use lpg gas which is a cooking gas and compressed natural gas also called cng gas in this particular video we'll teach you everything you need to know in fact we'll teach you in plain terms even if you are not a technician how to install it yourself with simple step by step process without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into the video the very first step is this how do you identify the carburetor you'll be needing for your generators as a matter of fact not everybody knows this i know some persons who have gone to buy carburetors and what they do tell the carburetor seller is i need a carburetor for my generator and they get any kind of carburetor and go fix and unfortunately it may not match now how do you identify the carburetor you'll be needing for your generator one of the basic ways i do explain to people is to take cognizance of this health fitter cover and this valve cover here lies the key technique to identify the carburetor you will be needing for any generator that has an health fitter cover like this which is rubber and a valve cover that has four bolts that should tell you you will be needing basically the 3 kva dual carburetor now here we have two different types of carburetor this particular carburetor is meant to be used for a 3 kva uh, generator and this particular one is meant to be used for a generator that ranges from 5 kva to 8 kva for a 3 kva gas carburetor this carburetor does not have a solenoid if you look carefully it is bare it does not have a solenoid but for a 5 to 8 kva um, carburetor it has a solenoid this is a key component okay after identifying using this valve and this um, what is it called to identify the kind of carburetor you will need all you need to do now is to head down to the shop and tell them you need a carburetor without a solenoid okay it's that simple in step one we basically identify the carburetors we'll be using for our generator in step two what we need to do now is to gather all the things we'll be needing for the conversion and put them in place of course we've identified the carburetor we put it in place now we get the gas cylinder valve okay this gas cylinder valve is responsible for transporting the gas from the cylinder itself down to the carburetor and of course we need a gas cylinder all right another thing we need now is the hose i usually like this high pressure hose one of the things i do take cognizance of when i'm going to get hose is to observe the skin of the hose though this may be more expensive than the others but anytime you see uh, a hose without a skin i tell you that is very very inferior do not purchase it and last but not the least we make sure we get the clips the clips acts as a connector step three we get our tools in place okay for this particular conversion the tools we need are not really complex all we need is basically a screwdriver if possible get a flat and star screwdriver just like this one and what you need again is a three-way spanner and this three-way spanner should have 8 mm size here 10 mm and possibly 12 mm all these other things you are seeing here are not quite necessary so this is basically what you have to get after identifying the carburetors we're going to use for this particular practical, this particular installation and the various materials we'll be needing, including the tools, the next thing we do is to head down to the practical proper. And what do we do in our step four? We take off the L fitter housing. This is not difficult at all. As a matter of fact, even a 10 year old kid can do this. Okay, let's assume the fitter is like this, the housing is like this. All you need to do is to take this off. And what do you do next is to use your screwdriver. For some generators, it may not be a screw that um, connects this to the other end. It may be a boot. It may be just anything. But basically, with the two tools I have um, explained to you guys, you'll be able to do that. So what you need to do is you lose out.
that is it for step four we've been able to take out the l fitter compartment for step five we take out the carburetor this is not difficult as well what you need to do at first is to take this off from the fuel tap take the hose from the fuel tap and slightly pull this forward a little the carburetor pull it forward a little and after pulling forward you will notice this um spring is hanging okay it's in the same line you pull forward so it appears to be on the same line it's hanging here you take it off easily that is it you've taken off the carburetor now for step five we install the gas carburetor okay we install the gas carburetor however before installing the gas carburetor we have to fix back our gasket it's very important sometimes if you forget to do this you may end up fixing your carburetor and your carburetor the engine will start stalling or maybe flood to it as the case may be so installing just like you have taken it out you take in to a particular length and then look for a position where this spring is now slant you fix very 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 easy you don't need to stress yourself whatsoever what you need to do now is to fix the spring back in position properly and you are done okay now what you succeeded in doing now is succeeded in fixing back the carburetor step six you fix back the air fitter just as you've loosed it earlier it's very very important and beside i just noticed this particular gasket was in the other carburetor and i have to quickly fix it back okay this is the gasket you see i try my possible best not to make sure i forget fixing these carburetors and um, this gasket I fix back the gasket and fix back the air fitter housing just as you have loosed it earlier i assure you if you follow this step there is no way you cannot install this yourself as a matter of fact you may even install and then charge people for it in this part where i reside installation is five thousand there imagine learning from this channel and installing for others imagine installing for 10 persons that is 50,000 naira already from just this station isn't that interesting still fixing back the l fitter housing So after fixing, we cover up. So what we have done so far is this, we've been able to fix the carburetor. Step 7, all we need to do now is to connect our hose from this carburetor to this gas tube, this gas cylinder. Okay, first off, we take this covering out of the nozzle and then we recall we, we need a clip, we loosen the clip a little. All right we're losing the clip a little okay so guys if you've watched this video to this particular point i know you've learned a lot why not appreciate us by subscribing, at least liking, and even sharing to your friends and family this particular video. You never can tell who would, would appreciate this content. Alright, so please do well to share to friends and family. Like and subscribe to this channel. So when other videos are posted, we are among the first to see them. Alright, still on step 7, we connect this foil valve to the gas cylinder lest i forget all cylinder have their individual valve head okay this particular cylinder valve head 
would not work for a 12.5 kg cylinder valve head so always take cognizance of that when you are going to buy your valve head just know the kind of cylinder you are using as that will equally help you to get the proper one for your cylinder all right we'll fix it properly up next is to connect this part of the hose to this uh, valve head All right, guys, we've successfully connected the cylinder to the carburetor. Up next, we stretch out the gas hose, okay? Why do we stretch out the gas hose? We do that so gas can freely flow from the gas bottle to the generator. One of the precautions I would readily advise, I would really advise everybody to take while using a gas generator or a gas carburetor is to ensure that there is distance between your generator and your gas bottle and at such it is needed you use a gas hose that is at least um, six years long. Okay, that will give appropriate distance from your generator to your gas cylinder bottle. All right, for step eight, what do we do next? We kickstart the generator. But before we kickstart the generator, we have to open our gas bottle so that gas can flow from our gas bottle to the generator itself. All right. So sufficient gas has flown down to this point. What we do next is to prime the chamber. If the camera can capture, if the mic can capture this, you would notice the sound it makes when you prime. Alright, let's kick start now. guys so that is it one other thing you do after putting off your generator is to quickly put off your gas um, valve as a matter of fact I was even supposed to put this off before putting on the generator putting off the generator so before putting off the generator make sure you put this off before you put off the generator if you notice carefully with this particular generator it became more silent than how it was while I was even using petrol for the generator. It's so fortunate we didn't capture that moment before this. So that is even one of the benefits of using a gas carburetor. Another thing you would notice while I was putting on the generator, I didn't have to shock it like the foil carburetor where you have to shock. This is really not necessary. This shock, instead of shocking, you prime, okay? These are one of those things that make the gas carburetor favorable to use. I sell this gas carburetor just in case you need. I sell for an affordable price. And just in case you are still not in the know of how to install it, I will guide you step by step, even in our WhatsApp platform, on how to do this. You can get this carburetor from us for a very, very affordable price. We give one of the best prices you can get anywhere. If you are a subscriber and you haven't purchased this 
um, carburetor, I implore you to please patronize us. Thanks for supporting us, guys. Till we meet in our next class, it's goodbye. Take care.